Hi guys, welcome back to another DIY. So as you all know, I changed all my dividers to be sterling ink. I will link that video, video below in case you missed it. So I have top tabs and side tabs. And then I realized my envelope at the back and my sticky note holder does not match. These are more of the junk journaling, vintage floral look, which I absolutely love and they're beautiful, but I want everything to be matching in my planner. So I made another envelope, laminated it. So I did this, I laminated it today, but I made the envelope last night with leftover um, paper, uh, vellum from Sterling Ink that I've had. So look at this beautiful print, oh, so gorgeous. Um, the difference is I did not do the overhang because see how this is splitting? So I just thought, you know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm just, so I cut that off and this one is going to be just a little bit more narrow because I took this off. So that's already laminated, ready to cut. So I'll do that with you um, and then I'm working on my kind of sticky note paper little holder thingy so this vellum is not as big as this piece that I used and it's definitely not as tall so it's going to be a little bit smaller so you can see like it's quite a bit what is that, half an inch? Shorter. So I'm going to have to be mindful of what I'll be putting in here. Because in this one, I have these. I have these larger sticky notes. And you guys, you should see the state of my desk right now. I've got vellum everywhere. Okay, I'm going to have to move stuff around here. And these papers, I have information on there. Um, these papers that fit pretty well in here. Right? And I like to have note paper. So, for example, I was out at a meeting today and then I got a phone call from a realtor inquiring about one of our listings. And so I had this piece of paper with me and I was able to write down his questions. That's what's on this side, which I can't show you because it has the realtor's uh, name and phone number. But... Um, yeah, I like to have paper with me, not just sticky notes. So I'm thinking, how do I make this big enough? I guess I can just tear that off. How can I make this big enough that these can fit in there? Unless they don't go in there, they just go in between like this. I just have them in there loosely and then I close it. I think I'll have to do that because um, these are pretty much the same size, right? So that's not going to work. So I have this vellum here so that I can make my sleeve. So I don't know if I want to do them like this or if I want to do them like this, this way. What's going to give me more room if it goes all the way this way? Is it going to be too, because once I have my glue down right on both sides, it's not going to give me much room to put stuff in. So I may just stick with this kind of, if you know what I'm trying to say. So I think I might come up higher. And then just draw. And do I want it to go all the way down here or more up here? Because on this one, I cut it all the way down to the bottom so that I could have more stuff in there. And I guess I could still do that. I could still do that. Okay, so... I don't really have anything that I can trace, so I'm just freehanding this. Okay. 
And you know what I'm going to do? My laminating sheet. See how there is a teeny tiny gap in here? So I did film this. I'll link it below as well. Um, I filmed how I made this. So I had two separate pieces of paper like this, but I put them really close together in the laminator, but I think I'm gonna have a bigger gap in between, actually. And then that way these won't touch. So like they don't touch each other, but when I close it, they do kind of overlap a little bit, which makes it a little bit, not flimsy, but like see how it doesn't lay flat. So I'm going to do this. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do it a little bit wider apart so that they don't, if that makes sense. All right, so that's that side. And I'm just gonna use the same one. Will that work? No, I don't think that will work. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did I do that? Uh oh my gosh. Did I do it this way? No, wait. Ah, here we go. Top. Bottom. I was hoping I could just flip it right over. And then they would be, yeah, okay, there we go, that works. Because I want them to be the same size if possible. Oh, wait, no. I don't know what I was thinking. That won't make sense. All right, so let's grab my paper trimmer. So this one is going to be for the right side. Okay, now I'm gonna use this to trace. There we go, see? Now it's the exact same size, so I can just do this. Hope this is making sense. Hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. Actually, this needs to go on the bottom because I need to be able to trace it on the paper that I'm actually going to be using. Top left. Okay. See, each time I do a project, I feel I get more efficient and I get better at it. And, you know, is it perfect? Absolutely not. But it is really fun. I apologize about the lighting. There's a lot of shadows and things like that. I mean, it's not even seven o'clock, but I just find it really dark. And I find that... As it gets darker out, as it nighttime comes, my eyes get tired and I don't see as well. Even though I wear contact lenses and I wear readers on top of my contact lenses, I still struggle. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this already. Look how pretty this is. Let me see if I turn this off. If that's any better. This one lamp that I have is really good for crafting and like planning because I see so much, but it is not good for filming. Um, now, because I'm going to have a bigger gap. Yeah, okay, I think this is good. Now, the question is, is do I... Yes, I'm going to use this. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to grab a scrap piece of paper. Let's 
use this old envelope. And the reason for that is because I don't want to put my glue, my um, Tombow adhesive on the entire, you know what I mean? Um, have the entire width of this on the paper because it's just going to take up room for the stuff I want to put inside. So I'm going to put this on the envelope and only do maybe like half. So half of the adhesive will go on the envelope, but oh, you can see that I have used this for other things. Maybe I won't use that because it still has glue on it. Let's use this. You know what? I'm going to take this bracelet off. I have to. I don't often use my nails to take off my jewelry um, because I don't want to chip them. But look at the state of my nails, you guys. Because I've been doing a lot of cleaning and stuff, so I. I hope to get my nails. Do my nails tonight. We'll see. The problem with doing my nails is that I can't do any crafting. Sure, I have the right size. Uh, so I'm going to just do a little bit. I don't want the full width on there because I don't want to take up more room than necessary. I'm going to do the side and the bottom, but not um, that part because that part's going to open to allow me to have my items in there. Oh shoot. <sighs> I put it on wrong. You know what I did? It's supposed to go this way. I put the glue on the wrong side. So guess what? It's gonna have to go on this side. Learn from me, you guys. That's the thing when I'm filming. Yeah, I'm to go like that. When I'm filming, um, I make mistakes more than when I do it not filming because when I'm not filming, I'm completely present. I'm not focused on anything else like lighting and camera angles and things like that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> but I'm glad that it tore off pretty easily. So there we go. So then it's gonna, I'll be, I'll be cutting this. And I like that it's transparent so I can see um, the vellum. I wish I thought of that with this. I could have just done regular vellum. I didn't even think of it, um, but it's okay. I mean, these florals don't match, but that was only my second one. So this is my third one. So I'm getting better. So this is now going to be for this side. Make sure I do it right. So if it's going to go on this way, then the glue needs to go on this way. There we go. Lovely. So, like I said, I normally have a very small gap in between, but I'm going to have a bigger gap this time. I love it. And then it'll just close like that. That's going to look absolutely lovely. All right. Laminating sheet. Very important to make sure that you have it the right way before laminating it and as even as possible. Is this? Make sure it's, ah, okay, there we go. I knew it wasn't straight. So you wanna make sure it's as far over to the side as possible. Make sure it's straight. Hi, honey. Wanna see something funny? Sure. 
Papa sent me this, enjoying his birthday muffin. It's got beautiful lipstick. Oh my gosh, send that to me. That's so cute. Beautiful lipstick. Oh, <laughs> That's adorable. So our, my in-laws, my, it's my father-in-law's birthday today. So we're at home um, and they're at our cottage for a few days. And we left him a birthday present and um, a couple of cupcakes for his birthday. So he just sent my daughter a picture of him eating his cupcake and his lips are all like, has he has icing all over his um, uh, lips. He's 82 today. And he's a bit of a messy eater in his older age. So anyways, it was just really funny. So my mother, my mother, yeah, my mother-in-law sent, took the picture and sent it to my daughter. <laughs> so cute. All right. So I think that's a good gap because this one here is very, very tiny. So I don't want to go too big. So let's give this a try and see how we do. Oh, there's a teeny tiny, you know what? The mating sheets are so fragile. If you, I don't know if you can see that. See, yeah, right there, that little ding. So I'm going to grab a different one because I don't want there to be any imperfections. Oh, I probably did it with my nail or maybe with one of my tools, not realizing. So I will use this for other things. Like my husband wants me to laminate his boaters. Um, uh, what's it called? Boaters, not boaters license because that's plastic, but his boaters. I don't know if it's a uh, registration for his wave runner. So you do have to have a boaters license. I don't know if it's, if it's like that everywhere, but definitely here in Ontario, you have to have a boaters license to... Um, ride a wave runner so he has to have his license with him while he's on the wave runner as well as the like, registration because the i want to call them water police the police they're in their boats and they um ride around on the lake and they will do random ride checks kind of like you do like they do like on the streets on highways and in the you know regular roads so and you have to show that you have a license and that you have all your safety gear with you and that you're not impaired and all that stuff Ryan has been um I don't think he's been kind of spot checked this summer yet but last summer it was quite a few times just um they just choose random so it happened to ryan a couple times hasn't happened to our son though he takes the wave runner out a lot so anyways yeah he wants me to laminate that so i'll use that sheet for that okay yeah i think that's good or do i want it to be a little bit wider just a smidge Okay, I'll be back. All done. Let's trim them. So I purposely have more overhang than what I normally would do and I did that because I want it to be a little bit taller so see how with the overhang it's now down to maybe a quarter of an inch versus half an inch to allow for um, me to have papers in there see because if this was this paper this note paper is exactly the same size as the actual vellum. So I wanted a little bit of overhang because I did not want this to poke out um, on the top or on the side. So that's why I did that. And then my envelope, um, I left a little bit of 
room as well. Like with vellum, I could trim the actual vellum if I wanted to, and it's not gonna split. But with paper, it will split, and this is paper. So this is vellum on top of paper um, that I glued with my Tombow adhesive tape runner. So I didn't, I didn't do that. I could here, I'm gonna be cutting this part. But this isn't open all the way across. It's only open, oops, wrong side. Nope, here we go. It's only open, the vellum is glued. I don't know if you can see that slight hint of blue. The vellum is glued all the way across, but the envelope, I, um, I trimmed that because I wanted to be my compass cards in there. Um, I could trim a little bit off the bottom. That's not gonna hurt anything. And I'm going to use the large setting on my punch, my corner rounder. And then I'm going to do the small setting on the outside just because I don't like the really pointy corners. Same with this one here. Actually, this one's not going in my, um, like I won't be punching this. This will just be sitting on the like in the back. So I'll just do the small setting just around the corners so that it's just a little softer, not so pointy. Okay, so now let me grab my mat. And exacto knife. And cut these, why is this curled? That's interesting. Okay, so this I'm gonna have to be very tedious. So I'm just doing very light pressure because I don't want to cut all the way through. I just wanna break the seal. Was nice that just went all the way up kind of like you know when you're cutting wrapping paper with scissors and the scissors just glide on the wrapping paper isn't that the best feeling that's what that felt like I'd rather do that than have to cut the whole way so if I can just break the seal a little bit and then no, this isn't going to let me do that, probably because it's uh, round, not straight. Just check every now and then, make sure I'm not cutting all the way through. So you want to apply pressure, but you don't want to apply too much pressure. So you got to be, it's very tedious, you have to be very careful. Oh, I guess I didn't go all the way through there. Move you closer so that hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I apologize for the glare. Have you guys seen the Barbie movie? I saw it opening weekend with my daughter. Oh my gosh, loved it. We both loved it so much. But I have that song from the dance scene the Barbie dance scene in my head. It's been on repeat ever since. <laughs> you know those songs? They're in your head for days, even like a week or two. That's that song for me. It doesn't help either that I keep seeing it in Instagram reels. It's a very popular song right now. Okay, so 
success. I don't like how you can you can see on this side where I cut it. I mean, I had to apply enough pressure to open it without puncturing this side, but you can see the outline, unfortunately. But I mean, I don't know, it, it's not that noticeable. Okay, good. Now let's do this side. I'm wondering what would be easier, probably this angle. That was really easy. Let's see if this side will be just as easy as the other side. There we go. I mean, it's not perfect. It's a little bit jaggedy. Is that a word, jaggedy? I'm just going to give that a little trim. So one of these days I'll be able to get both sides to be evenly perfect. But today is not that day. So I just like to trim off. So I will be putting this through my laminator again. Um, so I just want to trim off any excess. I don't because I'll feel that every time I open it and, you know, take papers in and out and I don't want to and I don't want my papers getting caught on any of that thing that's okay I think that's good all right so I'm very happy with that so I'm going to grab my bone folder to fold this down and I just got these off Amazon and let me tell you I've known about bone folders for a very long time. I watch a lot of crafting videos on uh, YouTube and I'm like, oh, a bone folder, but I've never bought one. So I was like, ah, I don't really need it. But now that I'm getting into DIY stuff, it's really come in handy and it's a lot easier than improvising and using like something else. Okay, I just wanna make sure that's even. I want to make sure it's completely in line because once you run it through the laminator, it'll be harder to fix. There. Oh, it keeps slipping on me. Mmm. Stubborn. I'm like pulling this down really hard. Pretty good. So I'm going to put it through the laminator, laminator literally just like this. And that's going to seal this. I do like having that extra room. That's good. And this isn't catching on, they're not catching on each other. The, these, um, this part here. So yeah, I like that. 
Done. So I don't want it to be too rigid, which is why I'm playing with it like this, opening it up. There we go. I mean, it's, it's gonna sit up, but the way I put it in my planner, it'll be held down. So I don't think I'll be able to successfully have my note, little notes in here, or will I? Mm, it does stick up a little bit, so these are gonna be too big. How about my sticky notes? Those are gonna stick up as well. So, I mean, these can just stick in there, but I can put smaller sticky notes and, and note pages in here. And then I can just stick those down like that and put those in there. And we're fine. How fun is that? I love it. Okay, now let's do this guy. So I have, so I'm going to open it up right here and I'm going to open it up on the top. And you could use a ruler, but I don't know, I kind of find the ruler gets in my way and makes it harder to turn it based on where I'm cutting. I like to turn it to get better angles and having to reposition the ruler is a pain. Okay, so let's see. Nope. So I goofed, I was straight, and then I went complete, I thought I was straight, but I was not, and they didn't realize until I was all the way over here. So I started on this side and went all the way down. So this is my straight line, but look, I have this, I'm so sad. Because I don't have any more of this vellum, so I don't want to waste it. So what can I do here? I might just have to cut this off. I don't want to do that either. I am so bummed. So it's open here and it's open here. So I have two pockets. I've got one here and then one on the inside. See, it's so much harder with paper than it is just trimming the vellum. Unless I'm able to glue that down, I don't know. Okay, so let's do the top. And now with the top here, I'm being very careful to not cut the vellum. I'm only cutting the laminate because I don't want the vellum to be a slip pocket, just the paper part. And I have the vellum glued down. Do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? I think I did. Yep, I did. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, I did. Which means I did not cut into the vellum. So let's see, make sure that this fits. Awesome. It does. Love it. I don't love this. What am I going to do about that, you guys? Hmm. 
What am I going to do about that? That would not be easy to glue down because I can't really get underneath of it. Hmm. What can I do? You know what, I'm gonna grab a Q-tip. I figure this will be an easier way to get my glue underneath. So while I was getting my Q-tip, my husband just got home. And he got the mail. So I had a package. So I will be doing an unboxing for you guys. And then my daughter got mail too, and she has been selected for jury duty. So she has to fill out application, an application and stuff. So that's crazy. I wonder how they choose. Okay, now, I mean, it's better than nothing. Hopefully when I put it through the laminator, it, the heat will seal it, I hope. You can see some of the glue there. How can I get that off? I mean, that's as good as it's gonna get. Take off my scraps. Guess I'll take these out before I run it through the laminator. Not that I don't think that that would matter, but just in case. Okay, wish me luck. Here goes. Okay. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize the paper is split as well. Oh, never mind. That's the pocket. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Okay, good. See, it's good if you make mistakes when you are sharing your process with people because then you can see how they fix them. I know I like that. I like when I see if they've made a mistake or something doesn't go 100% according to plan because then you see how they fix it. All right, time to punch some holes. Now, because the vellum that I put down already had holes in it because I had already used um, use the vellum as, uh, not dashboard. Yeah, I guess, well, kind of, I punch holes in them and just have them in my planner for deco. Um, the holes aren't hundred percent going to line up because of the overhang on the vellum or on the laminate, but what do you do? Over time, I will redo this with other vellums. I do have some beautiful vellums that I'll be using for projects that I plan on doing in the fall. But these are a bit summery, so I wanted to have summery vellum and things like that in my planner. So I could put them in the paper. And you can see the paper part is connected to the top part and that's why I wanted to have a little pocket on the front as well with the vellum so that if I wanted something to be separate then I could because with this one here everything oh I have more yeah this one was a mess 
I made mistakes were made with this one. Oh, those were from the bottom. Oh goodness. Yeah, like this one is a mess. Unfortunately, I don't like this. I mean, I could try and glue that down, but I'm probably just going to redo this. Luckily, these were printables from Etsy, so I can just pr reprint them as often as I need. So it's not a total waste. And I like to have my compass cards with me because it's summertime and I go to the cottage a lot. And if I do planning at the cottage, then I've got compass cards with me. Um, but even if it's not summer, it's nice to have them so that it, I, you know, if I'm planning on the go, then I can change things up. So this is cardstock. I printed that one on cardstock, so I'm not going to put that in there because it's bulking it up. These are cardstock as well. Uh, that's cardstock as well. And this is paper. So I might, yeah, these are all cardstock. Let me see, let me see if I have more. And I do, I've got lots, more. I printed lots of these when I bought, um, it's from a collab with Paper Test Designs and Hey Planner Girl. Um, both printable shops and this one is by the Calm Seas um, but yeah I printed a whole bunch okay these are paper so I'm going to do paper so that it doesn't bulk my planner up a couple of receipt ones let's see what else I have here these are cardstock Oh, I printed a lot on cardstock. And these are paper. And let's see what I have in here. So that is this one. That's cool. I use a weekly for some sort of tracking recipe. Receipt on top maybe because it'll peek through and then these okay don't know if you can hear talking so we're going to be renovating or not we're my husband will be renovating our bathroom so him and Tyler are carrying in the new vanity so they are making quite a bit of noise all right, I think that's good. I'm gonna leave it at that. Don't need to overdo it. Less is more, as they say. Although, do I? Oh my gosh, let me try that again. I do like these kind of brown colored ones. So I'll have two of those in there. Awesome. So yeah, so now it's complete. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions, let me know. And let me see if there's any other sticky notes. Let's put some of these Jane's Agenda ones in here with these flowers. I'll put them behind and then they'll just stick there. There we go. I love it. Now everything matches. So stay tuned. My next video is I'm going to be switching binders for the month of August. I'm not going to film that right now. I have to go and make dinner. But yeah, stay tuned for that video. I hope this was enjoyable for you. If you've stayed until the very end, thank you. I appreciate those of you that watch all of my videos. And I love the comments that I get when I've 
made my videos too short where people will message me and say, I like the long videos. So thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. I love the little community that I've built here on my little corner of the inter internet. Um, oops, I put this on upside down. <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks again, you guys. If you're still here, don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this, such as DIY and planning videos and all the ways that I, you know, continue to work towards planner piece to make my planner pretty yet functional. Have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.